Hey everyone, welcome to an episode in the React Foundation series. In this episode right here, I'm going to be continuing uh, the journey from the previous episode and we're going to set up the link, the sign-in link to work. So when we click on it, it'll go to the sign-in page. We can type our username and password or email and password in, in our case and it should redirect to the landing page and show the email of the person who's logged in. So let's dig right in. All right, so um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the link over here uh, actually work. So this sign in link, when we click on it, it should come to this page. And also when we go click on the invoice, it should come to the root page, which is this current page that we have over here as of this uh, moment. Um, so uh, let's make this work, this invoiced link. Um, so when we're using React Router, we can't just uh, use a tag and an href and whatever. Uh, we have to use a link, uh, import link from React Router. And so here we're going to change this to a link. And here is going to be two. And then here is just going to be the root. Uh, close it out, going to be link. And here uh, we're going to do a link and uh, link over here. And we're going to change href to, to uh, users sign in like that. Uh, then if we head over here, we do a reload. Uh, I click sign in, I come to the sign in page, I click here, I go to the root page. Great. So uh, now uh, we can actually, uh, you know, if you ha don't see this highlighting, that's because, you know, we, we're not going to worry about that just yet. We're just going to make the links work. And I'll tackle the active links in a different episode. So for now, what I'm going to do is if I do Zach at codemy.net, I hit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I hit sign in. Uh, I get taken back and nothing changes. So what we're going to fix that uh, and, uh, you know, get the signing in actually to work. Um, so what we really need to do uh, is uh, basically we need to detect. Uh, so once we sign in, we set the local storage. We need to detect that, hey, uh, there's already a existing token. Uh, we need to, um, you know, display the email uh, in the, you know, in the corner. Uh, so basically, instead of having the sign in text, we're going to display the email uh, from the user. Uh, so okay, so let's start. Uh, what we need to do is we need to observe on the user. Um, and, uh, you know, we need to uh, do a few things to get this to work. Um, so basically, this link, this group of navigation bar uh, should be for people who are signed out. Uh, so what we need to do is then we need to create a couple of uh, things in our components over here. So I'm going to go into a new folder. I'm going to call it layout. And in the layout, we're going to start moving some stuff around. Uh, I'm going to do uh, index.js. And in the index, I'm going to copy everything we have over here because now we're going to have some logic in our layout, like, for example, checking if the user signed in. If not signed in, we need to do certain things, stuff like that. Um, so uh, I'm going to move the SAS as well. So I'm going to do uh, index.sass. And I'm going to move this over here into here like that. And I'm going to remove all of this um, layout file. And we're going to have a folder structure for our layout. And so in the layout, I'm going to have, um, you know, some kind of logic in here. Nah. All right. So uh, we probably need our layout to be more complex than what we have over here. So I'm going to convert this into a class. Uh, I'm going to call it application. Uh, and then extends react.component. So now, you know, our layout is going to have some logic in there that's going to do all kinds of stuff. So, you know, I prefer that we actually have a more like a, a class over here rather than just a, you know, a function that renders out a component. Um, also, we're going to uh, split out our, um, we're going to split out the menu. So we're going to have a guest.js and we're going to have a uh, member.js. So basically, this is going to be our, our navigation, our, uh, our navs, if you will. And uh, we're gonna based on some logic, we'll check. So let's implement the render function. And here, uh, we're gonna move everything here into the render function, just like that. And 
we're going to do a return. Close out our render function like that. All right. So uh, what we also need to do uh, is basically we need to change the import to index.sass like that. So now we have the styles back and working. And we're going to export the application. Uh, so we need to do a few things actually. So now what we need to do is implement the function that it's going to check uh, if we have the user is signed in or not. And if they're signed in, we'll do something. We'll render the, the member uh, nav. And if they're not signed in, we'll render the, you know, the, the guest nav. Um, so we need to do uh, guest or member. And if so now we need to actually access the user store. Uh, so I'm going to do a uh, import from MobX. So if import uh, observer and inject from MobX react. And here uh, we're going to do inject user observer. So now we'll have access to this dot props dot user. Uh, in our app. Great. So uh, what we want to do now is uh, we want to check if our user is signed in or not. Now what this means is um, we need to do a few things actually. We need to check first we need to move the nav out. So I'm going to move this nav out into the guest. So I'm going to do a const guest equals like that. Move that out. Uh, and then we have the guest nav. So export default guest. Uh, and then we're going to have the import react from react for that to work. Uh, and then we're going to have the member menu, which is going to be a variation of this. So we're going to do member. So import react from react. Uh, so we're going to do a const member equals function, paste that in. And so in here, um, we're going to render the, the, the in, in this case, this is going to get rendered if the user is signed in. Uh, so what we need to do is import uh, the in, uh, observer and inject in here as well because this component needs to be aware of the user context. So mobx react. And then uh, basically I think we can just use a class here uh, because we're going to have to implement the sign out function as well because you know in this case we need to have the sign out button. So this is going to be a little bit more complicated than just uh, you know just actual the component itself. So it's going to have a few functions. So we're going to extend react.component. And then we're going to have the render return. All right, so we can move our stuff into place over here. All right, so in this case here, what we need to do is we need to actually uh, do some modification to our user store because we need to check. Uh, if the user signed in. And so we can do that with a property, an observer property here. So uh, for example, just now we have just is loading. So we're going to observable uh, signed in equals false. So by default, it's going to be signed in equals false. And then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to set the, so we're going to use action set uh, signed in status equals status. And here uh, we're going to do this dot uh, set signed in to true. And then, so basically now we're going to have a signed in. So we can also actually do a observable email equals null. And then basically we can just set the email as well. So action. Um, so actually we can do something like this. This dot email equals email. Let 
So we can check. So I mean, if we're if we're setting the signed into false, we probably won't pass in an email. So then we just check to in this function if we're signed in, if the status is true. Uh, so status. So if the status is true and we have an email, then we're going to set the email as well. All right. So uh, here, when we're signed in, we're going to set the user dot email like that. And so what's going to happen is that once we're signed in, uh, it's going to set the signed in status to true on our user store. And then we're going to have an email set as well. So as a result, what's going to happen is in our member uh, area here and our member nav, we can actually access. So we're going to do inject user observer. And then basically, we can just render, um, you know, this dot props dot user dot email uh, here. And basically, it should render our um, it should render our email. So in here, it's when we click on it, it's still going to go to the sign out. But you know, just to show you guys that everything works, we can always change the location uh, of the link a little bit later. Um, so yeah, this should be okay for now. Um, you know, ideally, when we have the email, we should link to the actual, um, you know, like a profile button, like a profile page or something. Uh, but we don't have any of that yet. So for now, this will be just fine. So I'm going to do an export default member. And then um, in here, now we're going to do that check. So uh, dot signed. So we can do something like if, let me destructure that first. So const user um, equals this dot props. And then here we're going to do if uh, user dot signed in, uh, we're going to render return the member login, the member nav. And if not, uh, we're just going to do return the guest component. All right, we can do that in one line, I suppose, since it's not that complicated. Okay, um, so basically, this is a simple logic. Um, you know, it's going to check if user signed in based on our store. Uh, if you user signed in, we're going to render the member component. And if not, we're going to render the guest component. Uh, and so what we can do is then we can call um, this dot guest or member over here function. Uh, and basically that will, you know, um, render this component over here out. Okay, um, so what are we missing? I feel like we're missing something. Uh, let's just reload it and see if, if it complains. Uh, I guess it's not showing anything up, so it must be complaining. Cannot find module layout. Okay, all right, let's fix that. Aha, uh -huh. so I'm going to have to do something like this now um, just to get everything to work. Application. And then so now we're going to have layout.application, uh, which means you know we can have multiple layouts as well if we do things like this. Um, so I'm going to fix this real quick. And then what we're going to do, so let me stop that from complaining. We're moving that up in there. Uh, so what we're going to be doing next is I'm going to uh, fix this code, uh, what we have over here, and uh, try to get everything back up and running again because it broke. Uh, and basically, you know, say that it's layout.application, if you will. So let me um, close out Webpack because sometimes when we change things around, um, you know, because now we have a folder instead of a file. Uh, Webpack does complain sometimes. So there you go. The, the bill seems to be valid. Uh, so if I hit reload again. All right. Let's see what, what it's complaining about. Oh, guest is not defined. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. So I'm going to head over into the code. And here we have guest is undefined. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, I forgot to do that. Uh, I knew I forgot something. So I'm going to import guest from guest and uh, import member from member. So that should be OK. Let's give this a whirl. All right, props is not defined. OK, wow, it looks like I broke a lot of things. So now this, this needs to be this.props because it's a class rather than just a, a stateless component. 
console link is not defined all right components i'm going to copy this part over here go into guest paste that in like that and paste that in like that and do a reload class names is not defined so import so copy that over into the guest as well because um, we need them styles is not defined ah okay so now we probably need to do some um, import so uh, I, I ideally we should be separating these files out um, but I haven't thought it through so for now we're just gonna make it quick uh, so I'm gonna just copy them over and paste them to get everything to work as you can see everything is working now uh, so now uh, if we type this in at codemy.net one two three four five six seven eight click sign in you're gonna see that it actually worked um, so we get we're signed in and we can see the email of the user now based on the code that we have now we still have one problem now if I do a reload real quick over here state's gone because when we refresh you know it reloads the app it reloads the store and it's all gone um, so ideally what we need to do is um, you know look up the user token in the local uh, local storage and then repopulate our st uh, our store to be you know aware that hey we're already signed in we already have a token in local storage we can reuse that uh, in our app so uh, this will work as long as you don't refresh the, uh, the the page so if I just type it in again and you know try to log in again I click sign in I go back to my landing page and I see the user is already signed in everything is working but we're just not um, you know persist we don't have any persistence and in this case the persistence that we're working with is the local storage so uh, what we're going to be doing is in the next episode I'm going to be showing you guys how to look up the existing token in the local storage uh, and then redo the you know like fix our code so that when we reload it'll automatically just sign in uh, without us having to type in the email and password every time all right guys if you guys found this useful like share and subscribe uh, also become a member on our site uh, it's only nine bucks a month uh, super super uh, amazing content coming uh, a brand new site coming along as well uh, we're very excited about the progress of Codemy. Uh, very happy with uh, all our members who are, uh, you know, giving us money to fund this whole operation. Um, and so, yeah, with that, I want to thank everybody and I'll see you guys in the next episode.